Do you hate yourself? Do you feel joy when experiencing pain? Like, maybe a skip and a hop off the sidewalk into oncoming traffic would bring you happiness? If so, then this challenge is for you. You masochist, you. Now this is a challenge that many Bethesda fans- Why do- Why do I keep saying Bethesda? Am I turning into a Brit? I need a cup of tea, these bloody Americans keep dumping it in their harbor. <clears throat> Now this is a challenge that many Bethesda fans have tried. I personally have taken inspiration from Juve who has done this challenge as well. However, like many other content creators who have tried this challenge, I put my own little spin to it. Crafted the core of the challenge to better suit my vision you might say. An Iron Man challenge is supposed to be incredibly difficult, which is why I set my brain to the task of making it even harder for myself. Now, admittedly, I didn't use too much of my brain, as I rarely do, which is why I think that the first two to three days of this challenge was damn near impossible. So let's lay down the rules we have to abide by in this challenge. Rule number one, only one life. However, this is one of my little spins. <laughs> Get it? Because it's a spin wheel. Because, you know, it's, cause it's a spin wheel. Anyway, upon death, we have a small chance to be able to load our last save instead of fully restarting. However, for the first three days, the wheel was useless to me as I made this wheel very dumb and split it into multiple categories instead of just splitting it into two. We eventually changed the wheel to give a quarter chance to continue and three quarters to restart. Rule number two, we must start with nothing, which means dropping everything we receive from Doc, the DLCs, and any other NPC. Rule number three, no gear higher than normal clothing. In other words, the gear cannot have any armor ratings. Rule number four, we must play on the highest difficulty and survival. Rule number five, no vendors, meaning we cannot trade anything, rendering caps about as useful as a crochet condom. Rule number six, no fast traveling. We must walk from location to location just as our grandparents have walked uphill in the snow to school both ways. Rule number seven, no chems whatsoever, meaning no Stimpex, no right away, no jet, no psycho, etc. However, in Fallout New Vegas, there are certain medical properties you can make from herbs such as healing powder. Both me and Chad decided if we found or made these kinds of herbal medicines, those are not breaking the rules. Now actually finding and using them was still pretty rare anyway, but I wanted to say that for clarity. Rule number eight, no glitches. Rule number nine, no companions. This rule does have an exception though. I deem it fair if I take Veronica as a companion as long as I make her sit out of every fight that we take, that way she doesn't directly help us. The reason I chose to take her on, if you don't know, is due to the fact that the main quest at some point requires you to make contact with the Brotherhood of Steel. And without Veronica, it is incredibly annoying trying to get into the Brotherhood of Steel. And that concludes the rules for this challenge. So let's get this hellscape on the road, shall we? Kicking off day one, we took a nap during the snooze fest. Got what you were after. Pay up. <coughs> what? Benny filled my head with lead. Wait, 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 wait! Don't do it! Truth is. What? No! The game was Please. rigged from the start. That guy looks crazy on the right. <coughs> Chat That's casted resurrection to snap me back to reality. Oh, there goes grab I'm <clears throat> uh, anyway, ADHD moment. My bad. We then created our first of a few characters, Bo Jiden. Oh wait, guys, look at that. Remember folks, this man holds our launch codes. Chat and I brainstormed a good specials build and ended up with one strength as we don't care about melee in this hard of a challenge, eight perception for a boost in explosives and accuracy, eight endurance for better damage threshold, one charisma because it's useless in this game, seven intelligence, which uh, looking back at that now, it was kind of dumb because I thought it helped you uh, gain more skill points. And uh, I guess I was wrong. Five agility, so we are an average bit of sneaky and 10 luck for desperately needed crits. Answered some of the doc's questions, picked explosives, guns, and survival for my three skills. Picked the hot-blooded and wild wasteland perks, set the game to survival, and stepped outside to shit out all the DLC contents on the doc's doorstep, and then started our challenge. We have just been stripped naked. Actually, I went back inside to murder the doc with his laser pistol I stole from his shelf for his XP. I'm sorry! See the stiff back in his hand? I'm sorry, we need all the XP we can get. With my newfound outfit, we walked over to the saloon to meet Sunny and Cheyenne. Sunny wanted to teach me the ways of the waste, but I had to reject her charity and drop the varmint rifle she gave me. Couldn't hit the bottles with my laser pistols, so I went to raid Chet for any possible guns and ammo. Wait, I can't steal this one? Chet, what the hell is this? Why can't I grab this? When I found none, my old habits kicked in. I lasered him in the face and then quick loaded, only to realize I made an oopsie and failed already. Anyway. Wait! Oh, I 
can't quick save quick load. Upon the restart, we tweaked our build a tiny bit and gave us 9 endurance with 7 perception and 7 agility instead. Role played Hitman. You must wait, chat. You must wait for the perfect moment to strike. Your days are numbered, old man. Take the shot. No! You will give your... Die! I stabbed in my ass. It was just a prank, Mitchell. It was just a prank. Oh, he found me. <laughs> Disposed of old Mulbutt's body again. <laughs> Looted a settler's house for a shotgun and met up with Sunny again. Blasted the glass bottles to oblivion. Went on a quest to step on some lizards. Got caught off guard while itching my leg and got a nibble taken out of me by a gecko. Was lost in the sauce and accidentally ended the tutorial with Sunny. Oh. I ended the tutorial! Got angry and attempted to blow her head off for the extra Planned Parenthood XP and was quickly reminded that we were playing on max difficulty. Oh, is she strong? She's really strong! No! I actually might die again! Ran away from Sunny when I realized there was no winning. Tried to make friends with the Powder Gangers by returning their mines they left on the ground. Forgot to deactivate them before returning them. Got caught reverse pickpocketing the survivor and toyed with him for a bit before narrowly escaping with my life. Oh, I've been caught. Never mind. You gonna chase me around? Aha! Oh, no, no, why does he get angry at me? What, he walked all around for no reason? I have an idea. Oh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm dead, I'm, de I'm dead, I'm dead. I can't use chems, gotta drop that. Yes! <laughs> Took their dynamite and was on my way to Prim. Upon arriving to Prim, I tried to lure the convicts into a house to throw dynamite at them while I cowered behind a table, failed at throwing my dynamite and blew myself to smithereens. I guess Easy Pete was right. Spun the wheel and restarted. Now in this run, I restart a lot. So due to that, I won't give you all a play-by-play -play every single time, but the start to each run is the same route for a good bit. However, when I do change up the route, I will be sure to cover it. So upon my revival, I tried to put a baseball into a vase, then executed the dock when I didn't get the small dopamine hit I was looking for. Back on the amphibian hunt, Cheyenne performed a move from the top ropes. Cheyenne! We cleaned up the geckos, and for some reason, I attempted to take a little off the top of the settler that survived the gecko attack, who brushed my 12 gauge shell off like it was a slap to the face with a napkin. You know what? I'm gonna let you live after that. You, you proved to be very strong. Did not phase you. I'm impressed. Good job. I'll let you live after that. Well, <laughs> like, after what? Squashed some mantises, picked up some herbs, and reunited with Sunny so she can teach me how to make met. I mean, <clears throat> healing powder. But before that, I went on a little bit of a rant. I have been waiting for years for Skull and Bones, the new pirate game that came out. I've been waiting for years for that game to come out. Where the hell did they go wrong with that game? They had everything set out for them. It's the same people that worked on Black Flag, Assassin's Creed Black, Black Flag. Assassin's Creed Black Flag had amazing mechanics. The sailing of the seas was amazing. The boarding of the enemy ships was, was amazing. The looting of the enemy ships was amazing. Everything was good. Skull and Bones was meant to be Black Flag, but online with other players. Now, when you play this game, you would think that you control a character. You would think that in a pirate game, the bare minimum, in a pirate game, you would be able to board enemy ships. You do not control a character. You control a pirate ship. And when you defeat an enemy, you don't board the enemy's ship. You don't board it at all. What actually happens is similar like Fallout. When I kill someone, this is what happens when you destroy an enemy ship in Skull and Bones. This is what happens. Take what you want. Loot your plunder. Ship sinks. That's what happens. How did they mess up so bad? They're the same people who made Black Flag and they took all of the core components out of the game. After blowing my top over a pirate game, I then made the healing powder and went to revisit our powder ganger friends. Stole their explosives, talked to Ringo to initiate the Ghost Town gunfight quest. As you can see, for the first few attempts, I'm focused on XP, thinking that would help our run. This changes later on. Failed to obtain the help from anyone besides Easy Pete due to the fact that my charisma is too low for Chet and Trudy. Oh, and I also murdered the town's doc, so he can't really get his help on account of me not being a necromancer. The ganger showed up and the gunfight was on. I hid behind a rock while I took a few shots with a 9mm, decided to use some dynamite, executed Joel on the cob. Oh, he's alive! Not anymore. And then the town opened fired on me. What? What? Why? 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 What? What happened? I'm assuming one of my dynamite sticks was led astray and hit one of the townsfolk. So, being chased out of the town, I shoved my face with all the food I had and expressed my feelings toward the town on my way out. Everybody 
always hated you! Took my frustration out on Barton Thorn while he somehow regenerated health at an absurd rate. Discovered Ringo was tailing me on my way to Prim, so I put him down and continued. He is following me this far? You know what, Ringo? Wait. Wait, no. Victor! Leave me alone, Victor! <laughs> Victor was also tailing me. I climbed a street sign in attempts to escape the giant metal machine, only to realize he was just here to warn me about the dangers of the waste. Had a skirmish with the convicts of Prim again, looted some houses for food in Prim, ah, ah, my eyes. and tried to be smart by entering the hotel from the top and setting traps for the convicts inside. Was ran out of the hotel, where I was quickly sandwiched between the convicts inside and the convict on the coaster ride with me. Panic dodged the oncoming bullets, only to accidentally stop hot myself over the side of the coaster and plummet to my death. I'm heading towards the perfect- no! <laughs> Which then ended day one of the Iron Man challenge. <laughs> Day 2 started off with a new character being made. I introduced to you, Gigadad. Gave old mold butt death by a thousand cuts, and then performed a vasectomy on him. It seems I have become the doctor and you are now the patient. We are going to perform a vasectomy. Alright, Mitch, you ready? <laughs> Gave Easy Pete a scare. <laughs> Shot some bottles and was off to hunt some lizards again. Accidentally, old yellowed Cheyenne <laughs> scuffled with the convicts, played peekaboo with the last one, leveled up, and took rapid reloader. Did some sneaking around Nevada Highway Patrol Station while witnessing the two people who failed to sneak succumb to the jackal members. Eliminated the jackals by yeeting some dynamite over the building. Almost died upon entering the station because I forgot there were people in the first room. Oh! disposed of the two and re-entered the building to stomp on some bugs before moving on toward Nipton. Tried to make Thomas die to a wheelie-loving ant, and was disappointed when the ant decided to 180 and then made me have to do it myself. Let Oliver Swanick live for now, but eliminated boxcars for being a fake cripple. You liar! Attempted to talk to Volpez, only to be rudely interrupted by a rad scorpion who decided to attack a powder ganger on a cross. <laughs> The scorpion just murdered the man on the cross! Performed a sick old western shot and watched a viper run into their own mine. I think he forgot that he put a mine there. Observed dangerously close to a skirmish between the Legion and a caravan, got ambushed by more vipers and ran to cower behind some NCR and Legion while I watched the three-way from afar, looted the leftovers, and arrived at Novak. Stole that gun from the big dino shop, decided to help Boone out and get justice for his wife, but was interrupted when waiting by this dummy. Oh my god, leave me alone. Tried to have a romantic night under the stars of the genie, but got cockblocked by Boone and his rifle. Reported back to Boone and made the mistake of telling him the truth. Whoa, Boone! Careful, know? careful! I just wanted you to kill her! You sick. Bastard. You better be ready to join her. I was a joking! <laughs> I didn't know he would get hostile to you. <laughs> He's looking for me! We can talk about this, alright? No, I'm gonna ruin my game! <laughs> Performed the great escape and had a lovely conversation with everyone's favorite wanderer. Haha! <laughs> See you later, sucker! Oh, look at him! He's so cool! Burn him with his guitar. Damage 31, hold on. Shot a memorial and then play hide and seek with Private Kowalski. Or oh, oh, he coming. It was a prank! Never leave me alone! <gasps> Got scolded for disrespecting his brother and all the other fallen troopers. What the fuck are you doing? My brother died at the Battle of Hoover Dam, <laughs> desecrating a war memorial. Apologized. Sorry, I uh, didn't know what I was doing. Then searched for his brother on memorial and ensured he would be forgotten to history. Ah, oh, there he is, Donald Kowalski. Outside of Vegas, I stole a whole field's worth of corn and pintos. Chat told me I could get into the strip for free if I dress as an NCR trooper and use the monorail. So I went to Camp McCarran to try and watch some NCR troopers die, but I got caught up in the action and bit the bullet. Or laser. Can you even bite a laser? I don't know. Regardless, I spun the wheel and, to no surprise, had to restart. Reloaded, started the run off as usual, but on our way to talk to Ringo, I heard shots ringing out from the saloon. But it's got salsa in it, as well as some burger. And taco meat? What is going on over here? I went to check it out and discovered a giant red scorpion rolled into town and was starting to take over. Victor was the first to die, followed by Easy Pete, Sunny, and Cheyenne. No, Victor! Victor! No, Victor! I almost died dipping into a house for safety while I healed and ate my taco mac and cheese. It was in this house I realized how dumb the settler we rescued from the geckos every game was. Oh, this is your house that I've been stealing from. You are so dumb. You went out there. Let's just acknowledge this. Chat, every time I start this run, I come in here and get this single shot shotgun, right? This is her house. Every time you went to go get water, you took that flimsy little knife 
to fend off against a bunch of geckos by yourself. You could have taken that single shot shotgun. Emerging from the house, I snuck around the town to see how much damage was dealt. My suspicions were confirmed when I found Easy Pete and Sunny lying in a pool of their own blood. I tried to load the wounded up to take them somewhere on the account of me killing the town's only doctor. But wait, it wasn't over. The scorpion launched another surprise attack on me and succeeded this time. <laughs> Restarting, we got as far as the Nevada Highway Station when Obi-Wan made an appearance and then dropped from the heavens with the, honestly the sickest NPC kill I've ever seen in this game. You'll pay for what you did to the Powder Gangers. Huh? What? <laughs> it's over, Anakin! I have the high ground! Oh shit, I'm actually gonna die. How is he- What? He just ran to- Are you kidding me? I don't know whether to be sad or impressed. Loading up another run because we failed the wheel spin again, we made it all the way to Novak this time, where we once again helped Boone dry his tears with the sweet taste of revenge, and then died because I got greedy and tried to hold up a caravan. Listen, you don't have to say it, I know I'm not the smartest. Reloaded, died in Prim, reloaded, made it to Novak again, and then got jumped on our way to Vegas by a grenade launcher. Oh, what the hell was that? No, are you <laughs> me? Like, what do I do here? I'm dead, I have nothing. Holy shit. Oh, stop it! Stay away from me! I'm fucking crazy! They killed him! I'm crazy! Oh, I said I'm crazy, you better stay away. Somehow decimated all of them. Got a little crazy and took the decapitated head of one of my foes into a bush to celebrate. And was on the move again. Made it to Camp McCarran, successfully witnessed an NCR trooper die, stole three doctor bags, some ammo, and food, and was on my way to the monorail. What? 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 Chat! But no one in chat warned me that even looking at the monorail door without the armor on is apparently a crime punishable via four mag dumps. Thank you, chat. Reloaded, got outgunned by a jackal member, and reloaded again. Now at this part in the run, I decided to start looking around for a quicker route and ditch the whole XP idea. For this next round, I reminisced on my past as a young biscuit, playing Fallout New Vegas for the very first time. One of my own challenges back then when I knew nothing about the game was trying to survive the Cazadors up behind Ringo's gas station that I discovered when trying to find shortcuts to New Vegas. So the idea here was to stop hop past the Cazadors and through the pass instead of fighting them, which became our main starter route for the rest of the run. After hopping our way through the pass, I accidentally stumbled into bison mating season and got banished to the horny realm for watching. STOP BULLYING ME! Reloaded again, Stop hopped through Casador Pass and decided to check out the unmarked town that shared the same field as the mating bisons. Realizing the town was filled with very angry Viper gang members, I lured them toward the bison orgy in hopes to cause a little bit of a tussle in which I succeeded, however, the poor bisons fell victim to the Viper's thirst for blood. Continue to plan a route to Vegas as there are still many other threats between us and Vegas. Sticking as close to the mountain as my underwear to my ass on a hot southern day with no AC, to avoid the roaming fiend parties, I found an overlook where we sat and took in the lay of the land. Seeing a possible opening between the fields, we threaded the needle undetected, almost lost both my legs to a mine, and then initiated a fight with a fiend and hid behind some NCR troopers while I waited for one to keel over so I can pluck my disguise off their corpse for the monorail. When the two troopers I hid behind persevered the issues I caused for them, I went further down the wall to be a nuisance to their comrades on the front lines in hopes of causing a death of one of those troopers. Now you think I would be ecstatic when I get more than what I asked for, except more in this case is not good for me, as every trooper, including the initial two that I caused problems for all fell to the hands of the fiends who then made quick work of my naked ass cowering behind a wall. Motherfucker! Restarted because the wheel I made was worthless, successfully caused an NCR death, entered the camp, stole some supplies, put on my disguise, entered the monorail. Tension! Oh sweet victory. Get this shit off me. NCR worst faction. Fleh. Celebrated with some ladies in the fountain and ended day two of our run. Day 3, I started off by attempting to prep for our gunfight with Benny by slipping a frag mine into the drifter's butthole. Hey, hey, yeah, boy. Yeah! Yoinked his magnum, made the dumb decision to loop all the way back to Good Springs in reverse of our first run for supplies and XP, made it about a quarter of a mile up the road, and failed five minutes into day three's stream. Starting off great today. Restarting, I had what at the time seemed like a really good idea. You see, after hopping through Cazador Pass, I did some research into the unmarked town in Bison Valley. The Fallout wiki shows that a very powerful holdout weapon resides here on the Viper gang members. This is important to me as if I want to unalive Benny, I need a good weapon to 
do so. And not just any weapons will work, as the casinos strip you of any and all the moment you walk through the doors. However, holdout weapons can be hidden on your person. The only downside is due to this being the game's best damage dealing holdout weapon at the damage of 30 per hit, it also favors the strength skill, which as you know, I didn't bother leveling in making our build. But regardless, it is still a strong weapon, so we went for it and tried it on Benny a few times. To the next herd! I'm stuck! I'm stuck! I'm stuck! I'm stuck! Oh shit! I died. Oh, I hate this game! Get him, boys! Get him! I tried this a fucking mosquito. Get him, boys! Get him! Oh, did he kill him? Keep hitting them with the stuns. I got killed by a mantis! Are you serious? I don't worry, you guys. Yes, they knocked him out. I'm just coming to loot this and then I'm leaving. All right. Viper Gunslinger, I'm leaving because he has, yep, good armor and I think a grenade launcher. Knock him out, knock him out. Oh no, oh, he's murdering them. Let's see if we can get close enough to the guy that we got killed by the bison right here. We'll loot him and then back up. Okay. Combat armor we can't take. Love and hate, it's right there. We don't even have to do everything else. We got it, we got it, it's right here. <laughs> that was scary. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're all right. Limp your way back to the barracks. I need you back on the perimeter, pronto. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and dress right now. Holy! <laughs> what did you do, Bear? Shia one, Shia one, Shia one, Shia one, Shia one, Shia one. Why is he slowing down? Here we go, Benny Saga. Enemy spotted. Seems like you need to work on your marksmanship, Benny. I hit what I was aiming for. I want the platinum chip, and I want it now. Drink up, bitch, it's hydrate time. No, no, no! I'm gonna bring you Benny, stop running, you fucker! I killed him, I killed him! Eat all the maze you can! No! 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 I jumped into it! Do not go running somewhere, Benny. Do not go running somewhere. I'm dead. Finally deciding this plan was more illogical and painful than using insulation for toilet paper, I decided to take an easier route. What route might be easier, you might ask? Being a female. Oh, don't come at me. You know being a female is easier than being a man. Why do you think I'm so confused about my own gender? So back at the lab, we crafted up a former chem addict old lady that we named Grandma Sparkles in honor of Mitten Squad. Rest in peace, you legend. The reason for changing our sex is simple. Being a female, you get to take the Black Widow perk, which allows you to give Benny death by snoo snoo. So hopping through Cazador Pass, slipping past fiends, laughing at the NCR, riding the train, and coming face to face with Benny, we failed. Wait, I started talking to him before I even leveled up. In my excitement, I accidentally jumped the gun before waiting on my level ups to actually get the perk and initiate a conversation with Benny, which you can't exit without locking yourself out of boinky splinky time. It amazes me that I can fail the simplest of tasks. I genuinely think if someone were to offer me 1k for taking a photo of them, I would manage to take 20 shots with the rear facing camera on without noticing. Making it back to our long lost love, I gave him a taste of what's to come by placing myself beneath him while I rizzed him up. Yeah, see, this is how it's really gonna be. Benny's gonna be on top, all right? <laughs> Chat, you guys want me to hit him with the best female riz I have? When you shot me, you ran off so fast I never got your name. You making a pass of me, sister? Because I'm out of your league. Oh, what? After displaying the degen in me, we took a trip up to his room, performed the mating ritual of a mantis, dumped his carcass in the tub, and shoved a plunger in his rear end before talking to Yes Man. Me and Yes Man plot to take over Vegas and create Biztopia. Decided to touch base with all the casinos for later down the road so we didn't have to double back, got a scare when trying to enter Mr. House's private pod, put three rounds into his dusty schlong, filled his corpse with all the useless junk I had in my inventory, and then got an even bigger scare upon leaving. What? Turns out the NPCs were just carrying out their animation and I was safe to keep moving. Don't do that! That's so mean! You scared me! I thought I was gonna die! Reunited with Yes Man and then stood by and fell victim to Yes Man's supersonic deafening cannon. Ah! On my ears, I'm taking my headphones off. Watch my beautiful robots upgrade to Windows 11 and ended day 3.
Starting day four, we set out to touch base with the remaining tribes. Over in Red Rock Canyon, we stopped into Papa Khan's longhouse and raided his pantry to set off to our next location, the Boomers. Without popping our way through the Boomers welcoming howitzers, we then talked to Pearl. Gaslit her into thinking I'd actually help her, started raiding her house, then the men's barracks, the women's barracks, locals houses, and then for some reason entered the biodiesel refinery and damn near shit me britches. Now for um... That was a lot of gas. Ben was on our way out when I got paranoid by a boomer who was following me. Hey! How long have you been following me? Answer me! No! How long have you been following me? Huh? Hey! I then decided to follow them and sit in their chair. You're not following me, huh? No, no, no. This is my chair. Fuck off. Get lost. Oh, I'm sorry! 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 No! Which apparently is an unforgivable crime, as the entire base ran me out and swiftly ended this attempt with a howitzer to the dome. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back with all my Securitrons. You think you guys are funny? You think you guys are strong? I'll, I'm gonna show you. Oh. <laughs> Reset. Made it back to sleep with Benny. Took my frustration out on house. <laughs> Watched the update, went for the mysterious magnum, died to the same ambush, again, reset, and decided to go the proper way to double check something I was worried about that would affect our run further down the line. Like I stated in the beginning of the video, yep, we are gonna need to get Veronica in order to touch base with the Brotherhood. Arriving to the most adorable NPC companion Fallout New Vegas has to offer, I then gaslit her into believing we would travel the waste together, when in all reality, I planned on taking her back to her home and ditching her. Decided to take a little risk, I tried to stop hop my way through Scorpion Pass, which turned out to be a really bad idea. Finally adjusted our wheel, made all of our usual stops, nabbed Veronica again, made Veronica wait in a building like the good kitty she is while I had a shootout with the ambushing gang members, succeeded, it was on our way to the Brotherhood. On the way, I came across another reason I love these games, especially New Vegas. Wait, they're all dead? Certain things you do in the game have an effect on the world around you, even in a small instance that are often overlooked. This is the first time I ever rolled up to this ranger station and all the troopers were dead. Oh my Jesus! And the bodies were trapped. Such a great game. Making Veronica sit out of another scuffle, I watched as the World Faction Championship was fought right in front of me. Here you see we have the Legion member facing off. He is taking grave bullets, but the- Oh, the NCRA ranger, he has to reload! But he- Oh no, he's got a caravan shotgun! He only can shoot- Oh no, he can only shoot twice! He's got the worst weapon and he start- Wait, he has a second man and he's just hiding behind the rock! They never would have suspected it! He jumped out at the last second! He's attacking him while this man can sit back and heal! Oh my god, the turns have tabled! This man is starting to lose ground though! He's taking too many bullets and stumbling! This man shooting a rock right in front of him! The Legion have never fought- uh, they, They've never fought this bad in their life! I don't know what they're doing right now! This NCR trooper right actually- What are you doing? Backtracked, got Veronica. Volpez was rather shocked to see me in Nipton, took care of the jackals at the highway station, and arrived at the Brotherhood bunker. Chat somehow convinced my girlfriend to run into my room and shoot me with a nerf gun, but missed me and shot my monitor right on the bark scorpion's head that I just killed, making it look like she killed it. Oh my god, that's that was so fucking cool! Chat, she came in, and when she shot the nerf bullet, it hit the freaking bark scorpion as it died. It shot at my monitor and it hit the bark scorpion. There you go. I really wish you all could have seen this, but here's a replay of what it looked like from my end. Oh my god! Hang Veronica to the train tracks, I squashed some bugs, picked her back up once I was done, listened while she ordered her favorite wasteland drive through meal, and then left her behind. At Searchlight, I left chat to chill by the fire while I went to empty my bowels. Everyone sing the campfire song in chat. I'll be back. I have returned chat. Bro, Biz missed the firefight. What the fuck? Wait, I did miss a firefight! Wait, there's a dance! Wait, what? What happened? Was it just one dude? Oh my god, it was not one dude. Okay, never mind and then started slowly picking off the ghoulified NCR in Searchlight. Well, I have to admit, I lured a few back to force the NCR to kill their brothers in arms to satisfy some dark urge in me. Follow me. Follow me. I'm gonna drag you to your brethren. I'm gonna make your brothers in arms kill you. Get him, boys. Kill your brother. Kill him. Watch out here. Made it into the church's basement and started to eliminate the golden geckos. Made an oopsie and blasted the grenades across the room so I had to scramble to find them while taking way too much radiation. Okay, okay, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. 
Oh shit. The gr oh no. Oh no. There's one. We gotta go. We gotta go. We only have two. We, ha we have to. We have to only take two. We have, to we have to get the hell out of here. We're gonna die. Only found two of the grenades before dipping out and made a major mistake. You see, I'm gonna skip to the end of today's run to explain my mistake. So upon taking too much radiation damage and the rules stating I can't use chems, I accidentally soft locked myself out of the bunker under the fort due to it also containing radiation. And mere minutes spent within, I succumbed to radiation poisoning. That and because I offed Mr. House before I went in there, the robots within the bunker were very angry at me and I was not at all equipped to deal with them. So here, my friends, is where I ended the challenge in a failure. You didn't actually think that was the end, did you? Absolutely not. We are grandma gosh darn sparkles. We can't let Mitten Squad down. We try again. One more run! Respecting our character, we gave ourselves 1 strength, 9 perception, 1 charisma, 1 intelligence, 8 agility, and 10 luck. We then set off on our perfect route. So here is where our route changes a little bit. On a DVD stream, one of my viewers, Razor, suggested that we go for the Alien Blaster when talking about the challenge. Now the Alien Blaster can be found in the northern part of the map with the Wild Wasteland perk active, but only with the Wild Wasteland perk. Which again, like I said in my last Fallout video, are you even playing Fallout if you don't have the Wild Wasteland perk active? This alien blaster is useful for us because it is the most powerful weapon in the game. But in order to get it, we have to unalive the alien captain, which also has almost the same amount of HP as a Deathclaw. So in order to go and get that alien blaster, I came up with the idea of stopping by Searchlight on the way there to get the three holy hand grenades that are in the basement of the church. And if you don't know what the holy hand grenades are, they are another item that you can get with the Wild Wasteland perk only found in Searchlight. Just imagine being able to throw a handheld nuke. So the plan now became Searchlight, Cottonwood Cove because it's in the area and then the alien blaster. We stop hopped through Cazador Pass, touch base with the cons early, squeezed through fiend territory, dug around an NCR trooper's ashes for their armor, boarded the monorail, ditched the armor, and arrived at the strip. We then put on some music to Riz Benny to. He's got the biggest rig in Texas and the girlies think he's swell. They all want him to show them the way he sings so well. So he's got himself a motto every night you'll hear him yell. Went to his room for the act of coitus. Ready to drill them all, Benny? Whoa, did you see how my character just bent over? <laughs> what was that? You're built sturdy. And did, um, uh, this. Talked to Yes Man, accepted the invitation to Caesar's camp, touched base with all the casinos, talked to House, but did not off him yet. Watched the Windows update, put myself where I belong. I love this. Stole from the boomers, picked up Veronica, the wanderer combusted, made Veronica wait, and had multiple shootouts. Oh my god, they're close! Hopefully that hits. At least once. Wow, that was bad. Hi, buddies. We'll get them, boys. Alright, one of them's going. Alright, I'm gonna have to help these guys. Alright, there you go. Nice. Ow. Okay, there's one. Nice! Oh, wait! Wait! This is perfect! Oh my god, I'm gonna have so much loot. This is perfect. Picked Veronica up again, stopped at Searchlight to clear out the ghouls and nab the Holy Grail, I mean hand grenades. After that, we stopped at Cottonwood Cove to go to the dinner party we were invited to. What is she doing? What is she doing? Dad! <laughs> what was she doing? Stood on Caesar's tumor and discovered that the bunker's robots were still hostile. What? But because we took so little radiation damage inside Searchlight, we were in a much better position to do this. Updated the robots, managed to get lost in the camp. That's the wrong gate. No, this is the same, this is the gate that I came in from. I mean, if there's a different gate to leave, I mean, sure, but that's the gate I came in. Found the exit and started to head for the Brotherhood. Nope, just kidding. I forgot Veronica. I don't know if I grabbed Veronica. Backtrack to go get her. Come on, Veronica, let's go. And set off again. Tied Veronica to the tracks while I squashed some bugs again. Listened to her order. Ditched her. I pressed part ways. Why does everyone always say that? Almost had my run ended by the mating bisons. No! No, 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 Not like this. No, 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 Get up, you dumb Let me in, let me in, let me in! Oh, fuck him. All right, we wait. Then some things. Oh, shit, no! What? Hi, how 
are you? Where the f*** did you come from? Die! Oh my god! Oh my god! Was way more scared of the aliens than I should have been. I don't know what to do, I'm nervous. And you said he only has 100 HP less than the Death Claw? Because I can't get close enough to- Oh! Now. It only needs to get near him. Oh, perfect! Mwah! Oh, that scared me! That scared me so much! That's not even the alien- Oh, it is the alien blaster. Why did- <laughs> Why was he using the laser pistol instead of the blaster? You fucking deserve this. Thank you! You damn right I deserve it! Why was he using the laser pistol instead of the alien blaster? This laser pistol does 8 damage. The alien blaster does 60! That's how it's programmed? I didn't know that. And finally made it to off house. But we had to be careful. You see, because we updated the robots first, they would be way more powerful now. So I came up with a plan. A genius plan. I still had two of those holy hand grenades that I was planning on using on them. So I prepped like a round of Left 4 Dead survival. Except my preparation is what ruined us. You see, these hand grenades have an immense amount of power and an even greater radius. So every landmine I set got detonated by the grenade I threw. Did I just die? Yep, that's me. Always making things harder for myself. But we got lucky. Oh! Oh my god, spinning the wheel, we got a second chance. The lights shine down on us as we take our stand. Picking up all of my mines, I then pulled the holy hand grenade from my behind. We threw it. Running for cover, we killed a few. Tossing another and preparing for a shootout. Except I realized that I was overthinking the whole situation. As per usual. There's no shot! I panicked that hard for nothing. Did I actually over... Huh? Why are you still there? Engaging target. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> we then got ready for the two Securitrons behind the door. Because I didn't learn from my mistake the first time, I started setting up plasma mines. Look, I was very clearly feeling myself. Do you blame me? So I laid him to rest in his coffin. Equipped a pulse grenade, and I found myself in possibly the world's first situation in which a fallout player dies to a pulse grenade. Now yes, it's technically the plasma mines that kill me, but the pulse grenade is the thing that decided to hit an invisible wall and detonate all my traps. Now, before you, like my chat, try to skill issue me, take a look at this. You see? No wall. Just Bethesda things. Yes, I know this game is obsidian, but my point still stands. To no surprise, we did not roll another green, so not wanting to reset again, I decided to call the challenge here with a failure. We did continue for a little while just to see how the rest of the challenge would have run, and honestly, pretty easy. Had I not gotten crippled by my own Securitrons... Yeah, get him, boys. Not me, you assholes! Are you fucking kidding me? The only real issue was Leg Atlantius, but I already have an idea on how to solve that issue for next time. Oh yes, we are revisiting this challenge again sometime in the future. This challenge is very doable. But with everything said and done, can you beat Fallout New Vegas Iron Man? Yes, you can. However, I have not yet. But it's also sort of our fault for making the character we did. I guess Mitten Squad was right. Grandma Sparkles truly does ruin everything she touches. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. Comment to recommend a challenge so I can add it to my ever-growing list. Join the Discord, and if you find yourself returning to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, as it helps me put more smiles on everyone's faces. Also, be sure to check the Twitch if you want a chance to be in a video like this one, as all my challenge videos make it to the channel sooner or later. And with that being said, we wrap this video to a close so you all take care of yourselves out there and uh yeah until next time i torture myself for your entertainment oh and real quick about taking care of yourself yeah i know you uh i know you haven't had your glass of water yet today so you're gonna get your fill and you're gonna like it